for yoga class. Let's start with pigeon pose to stretch out our hips. Jessa, arms in line with your shoulders. Gabby, great four. It's important that our girls at Hell Angels have plenty of flexibility. You know, to do their jobs better. I'm well aware. We had to put our recruitment on pause because of that. And we had to cancel a few contracts with our suppliers. But eventually, we'll reopen. Once we've put an end to this bureaucratic nightmare, of course. It's important for us to stay active and disciplined in the meantime. With the rebrand we're planning, the Hell Angels are going to need to be in peak shape for their performances. Hmm. Stay and watch if you'd like. Now I want you all to take a deep breath, slowly. <laughs> you used to dance? Hmm. Sure. Call me curious. Interesting. He actually knows what he's doing. Oh, sure. Girls, would you mind giving me and him the room? Of course not. Come with me, girls. We can continue our class out back. You're different today. More determined. Full of ideas. Looking nothing like the scared, silly boy I knew. You look like a man now. You seem full of ideas for Hell's Angels. And for us. I want to hear more. Interesting. You surprise me once again. I like it when a man surprises me. Hmm. Hmm. I can see you're not one to waste time. A good one. I don't like beating around the bush, either. Hey, 
Oh, I'd love to. But my mother is being a pain in the ass. It's such a chore to get her to have the tiniest bit of faith in me. Oh, wait. I think I have an idea. I thought up an excuse that could get me out of the house. Trust me. Meet me at that arcade near your old place. It's close to my work, so it'll be easy to make up an excuse. Die, you damn aliens, gum! Die! I will end you all! Damn you! This game's too hard! Hey, Twinkle Toes! Glad you came! <laughs> I'm just happy enough to get out of my house for a bit. I didn't even see you come in. I was distracted by an alien massacre. How are you? Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Me too. Well then... What were those documents anyway? What did you and that girl do to make Donna so mad? Hmm... She's sort of nuts. Ah, right! I wanted to show you something. Come here. You see? Exactly! It's so awesome! You know about them, right? I agree! They're geniuses! We have to get to that show! I'd do anything! I mean, really, anything to see them up close! An invitation? It's a summons! You are required by law to go with me. Oh, she definitely won't be tagging along. I'll find some way to convince her. So, what do you say? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I'll hold you to that, Twinkle Toes. And next time, we should arrange to meet in a more private location. So we can continue our adventure at Donna's office. Since you have to go, I'll stop by my work and spend a few hours there. 
I told my mom I would do it. And it's quite possible that she will call there to confirm. To talk? With my mother? What do you mean? I don't know. We're talking about my mother. She's crazy. Hey, Hot Lips, let's go. Everything's gotta be packed so we can lug it all over to the office. Sorry. I'm coming. Wait, is that him? I can't let Sam see him over there. Could you help me get my bag out of the trunk? Of course, Hot Lips. Got it. He wasn't supposed to see me. But it's too late now. Since he's here, it'd probably be better to set the record straight. The last time we saw each other, things between us took a strange turn. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Hey! Long time no see! How are you? Calm down. I'm not up to anything. Sam is my neighbor now. He's been living in your old apartment. Of course not, silly. I'm working for him. Sam was in need of a new secretary. It seems the last one resigned after his divorce. And I was available. I used the fact that he already knew me to my advantage. After all, I've made a number of deliveries for Susan. Why? Are you jealous? Oh, please. Not everything is about you now. Since you came to this city, everything I've done has been centered around you. I moved here, went to the same university. I even rented an apartment next to yours. I did the craziest things. I'll help you find your father. And everything I did, it was with the hope that 
eventually you'd remember me. And still, you don't remember me. It's just wearing on me, you know? Don't worry. I won't do anything to Sam. I'm just minding my own business here. I'm not going to chase you or get in your way anymore. Plus, it wasn't me doing the spying behind the tree just now. So, since I intend to leave you alone, I'd like you to do the same. Do we have a deal? It's okay. I'm over it. I have to go now. I have a bunch of work emails that need answering and meetings that need scheduling. We still go to school at the same place, though, so I imagine we'll see each other around. Bye! That's great. I'm glad I could help. I'm at my book club. You know, the one you agreed to join but never actually show up to. It's fine. You have a lot going on. I understand. Anyway, we were just finishing up here. You can drop by if you'd like. Hey! Uh, you sure came quick. Oh, so you're the famous. You should join our book club. It'd be awesome to have a few more voices commenting on the books we read. I mean, there was this Russian kid, but he hasn't been showing up these days. Wait. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, right. You were at the frat house challenge yesterday, weren't you? You were really good on that climbing wall. I was quite impressed. I was there too, you know but I was wearing a mask like the other upperclassmen. Heather asked me to come help out. I really hope you get a spot in that fraternity. Organizations like theirs really help you find your place. Well, I must be going. <laughs> See you around, yeah? Bye, Chloe. See you around. You're just saying that after seeing Madison, aren't you? I saw you checking her out. 
She is. You would know that if you came to the book club. So, shall we get that coffee? Oh, that was nothing. <sighs> I really hate these menus where you have to scan a QR code. It's so much easier to just have a physical menu. Plus, if I'm coming to a cafe with friends, I don't want everyone to be looking at their cell phones. It turns people off. But of course, who cares about relationships between people nowadays, right? People don't really honor their commitments anymore. It's difficult to keep a book club going with just two people. Stop making promises you can't keep. Are you all right? Hey. Calm down. You're thinking about this too much. He's your father. After everything that happened, I don't think he'll want to hurt you again. Plus, with the police on his tail, he'll probably keep his distance. I'm pretty sure. Either way, you shouldn't worry about things that haven't happened yet, right? Mm, I'm always right. So let's just enjoy our coffee and relax, okay? Pleasant surprise. Of course not. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's great to see you. Hey, Chloe. Hey. <laughs> Curiosity. I was coming back from the gym. I heard that the cafe was reopened under new management. I just came by to have a look. It's pretty packed, huh? You okay? Yeah, you might be right. I do have some stuff on my mind. It's just... I'm anxious about the opening of the new gym. I do, and I hope my new students like me. <laughs> As if... 
I agree. You're an amazing dancer. Plus, you were always super patient with the customers who dropped by the cafe before. I'm sure you'll be a great teacher. You just need to relax and be yourself. <sighs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay, then. Thank you, guys. You'll swing by tomorrow, right? I'll be much more at ease with the two of you there. Uh... Dancing isn't really my thing. It's like I have two left feet. I really don't have the motor skills. Oh, that's nonsense. It's all about practice. I have a student like that. When he started, uh, he was always tripping over himself and falling. <laughs> but now, after a few months of classes and hard work, he's improved a lot. And he even took part in a performance our dance group put on. He doesn't even look like the same person anymore. That guy who was always stepping on my toes when he started out. I'm sure if you just gave it a try, Chloe, you'd learn quick enough. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I can always go watch, though. You know, moral support? Okay, I'll take that for now. But I'm not giving up on you, Chloe. <laughs> okay... I'll think about it. You have my word. I just need to feel comfortable with the idea first. So, it's been great catching up, but I have to go. I have a ton of college stuff on my plate. Alyssa, it was great seeing you. Hmm. Oh, it was. We need to get together soon. We don't see each other enough. Yes, I totally agree. I miss the chats we had here at the cafe. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Wow. It looks so different. Ooh, seriously. It seems like the new owner knows how to attract a crowd. The amount of orders must be crazy. Part of me sure is happy that I don't have to work back there anymore. I don't think I could handle it. Would they take me back if I asked? With this sort of business, I'd definitely be raking in the tips. God knows how much I need it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just nerves because of the opening tomorrow. I have to have a certain number of students minimum for this to work. And I still don't know what that number even is. I thought coming here and seeing this decadent new cafe would cheer me up a bit. 
But now that I'm seeing how full it is... Uh, I think it's made me even more insecure. Thank you. Maybe you're right. Would you mind if we went somewhere else? I don't think coming here was a good idea. I love that! No need to exact. Thanks. Oh, that does make me feel a lot better. But enough about me. What's happening in your life? Huh? Wait. Uh, don't look now. Person? I think I saw them at the mall, too. I think they're following us. And I'm pretty sure I saw them taking pictures of us with a cell phone. I am. Maybe we should call the police or something. Yeah, but...